So we had a go at the tutorial. Let's host a private world. First world. Yeah, whatever. Uh, start. So what does configure allow you to do? Does it tell you what these things mean? Multiplier that affects all damage inflicted by vehicles and towers belonging to non-player factions. For instance, 0.5 means NPCs will only do half a normal damage, making combat easier. Okay. Restart. Danger. Okay, let's take that down a bit. Uh, okay, that's that's just PvP. Let's not have PvP to start with. Oh, let's just play. Right. Oh, there. Okay. Mountains. Scorched peaks. Flood plains. Savannah. Go on, that's got to be doable. Yeah, we'll give it a go. So this is our little guy. Let's activate the mining laser. Can we get that tree? Yeah, I get that. So I can't, I can't kill that tree by the looks of it. Yep. Scanning pulse, let's do that. Boom. Aluminium large, okay. Aluminium, gravel, marvelous, let's zoom in. Okay, okay. Is that recharging? Yeah. So what we can do at the moment is pretty limited. Now I said in the tutorial, if you're closer, you get more resource. Right, what's that result? What's that? Abandoned item. Okay. So 
So let's go and see what this abandoned item is. Yep. Pick up an induction motor. Let's do another scan. Copper huge. So it's taken a really long time for my um, <laughs> nimble all-terrain vehicle suitable for anything that doesn't involve getting shot at. <laughs> Can I mine here? Okay. So how do I mine those? I have no idea. Let's find another rock. Oh, there's another marker on the map. So I wonder how I mine deposits on the ground. Presumably I have to build something to do that. Hard metal wreckage. Go into our storage, we have aluminium. We've got hard metal. Cool. So can we build anything? Wind turbine. That requires silicon and copper. Yeah, they all require silicon and copper. Okay. So that just requires that install metal or gravel. That install liquids, yeah. Okay. So can we make one of those? Okay, we'll create a new faction. Bill's faction. Marvellous. Now we'll do that. This actually requires establishing an outpost first. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, okay. Marvellous. There we go. So then can we drag that to there? Yeah. Can we drag gravel to there as well? Oh no. So I guess each container can only do one thing. Okay. What else can we do? Don't want a light post. Don't want a flag. What's that? A science lab? No. Small, so I'm definitely going to need silicon and copper. Ah. So I want those, but they require copper and silicon as well. Cool. What can I do there? So presumably I can add bits on, can I? Interesting. Oh. What does that do? That's trade agreements, okay. 
I don't know any other colonies or factions, so... Right, I don't have a resource somewhere right now. That'll be combat. That's the settings. That's my inventory. And that's building stuff, okay. So what I need is a rock that's going to give me something other than aluminium, don't I? So you just give me aluminium and gravel. There's something over here. So if anyone has played this game and has some tips, they will be very welcome. Because <laughs> I am clearly finding my way. Ah, that's copper. Okay. So we right click on that and pick up. Ah. So that's given us a bit of copper. What was the other thing we needed? Silicon. Now can we get that from sand? I should have paid more attention to the tutorial. I'm down there. Okay. So let's head south and there's another thing to pick up there. As far as you can zoom in. No oh, external storage. Pick up. So can I apply that? So that's internal. That's internal. That's internal. Okay. So it looks like I may not have a external slot to put that storage in. Suspension generator engine. Can I sort that for that? Unsuitable attachment point. Yeah, it's got to be an external one. And I'm using my external ones. So I could switch out my scanner, I guess, for the storage. Mm. That's a bit of a tricky choice. Let's see what's over this rise. Sounds like a bit of a rust bucket, doesn't it? Pick up. So I'm getting a bit of like copper, but it still needs silicon. Let's bomb along over here. There's two more question marks. I don't think there's any point in um, scanning those really until I've got silicon. Because I can't make an extractor to go on them. Oh, there's another star over here. See what this is. It's hard metal. Okay.
guessing that's just aluminium again in that rock. Oh, for the trees. Okay, we're getting close to water. And therefore, hopefully, the sand. Oh, I assume that's radiation. That looks bad. Okay, 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 I get that. I get it. So, we're not going there. That's a shame. Well, can I get sand silicon out of this? That's all for mining? No, nope, I can't. So I'm wondering if that might be the far south of the world. Maybe it's like other games, it's kind of a radiation barrier to put you off um put you off going there. Hard metal. Okay, pick up. Seem very responsive to slowing down. Cool. Well, you get the idea of what I'll be doing for a little while. So as soon as I find some sand, I'll bring you back, and we'll pick it up from there. Well, I've discovered that different rocks give you different resources. So one just gave me gravel, one gave me lead. I'm assuming if I try out enough different ones. That's lead and gravel, okay. Now I'm not seeing a great deal of difference between the boulders. So... Gravel. And that's just gravel. Looks the same as every other boulder to me. Hmm, let's head west. I'm heading east. But I was just thinking I'll try and find... Ah, copper! Five thousand copper. Awesome! No, it's silicon I need. Yes. There's our cargo container. So let's see what else we can build. Yeah, 
Yeah, that one's got aluminium. So we'll click on that. Oh, and we can decide what it's going to hold. Okay. Well, let's say you're going to hold copper. Colour picker. Oh, who knows? Why do you not say copper? Copper. Right. So then, I transfer that across there. Change the store copper. Marvelous. Can I put that down somewhere? Yeah. Because I'll have to take something off my external to do that. Uh, Uh, maybe I want that. Oh, but it's not in an actual slot, so we'll, can we just leave that there? Yeah. So, hang on. Doesn't fit there. Okay. Prototype AC induction motor. AC induction motor Mark One. Generates 450 torque. So if I put that there, oh. Ah, you just put something better on top and it replaces it. Okay. I get you. Right. So, wow, that is dark, isn't it? That is very dark. Had an airdrop essentially by the looks of it. Oh no, they're my they're my containers. Like the closest item. So I've got basic scouting drawn. Okay, do we just put that in the environment? So does that replace something else in the inventory? Let's have a go and see. Do I put that somewhere else? Like there? Oh, 
So I could really do with being lit up at night. Um, let's have a quick look at settings. Can't see anything obvious there. Well, let's work out how to use the drone and uh, what's that? Let's put a type scanner. Yeah, that was bound to be an unsuitable attachment point. Go where the sensor is? No. Can't replace the thrusters. Are you sure that's not where you go? Follow me. Okay. I'm thinking thirty five meters is a bit far away. Let's take that down a bit. Cool. Now we're heading west. You know what? 10 metres might be better. Why is this dark? Oh, that's great. We still need silicon. Let's stop, stop driving at the trees. Now I'm thinking exploring at night might not be the best plan. That is really, really dark. Even with a little drone in attendance. Nope. Yeah, I think we might need to see if there's a way to sleep through the night, because... Wow. Might be easier to see what I'm doing a bit closer. to go. So we'll head west. Let's see what this is. We've already got an AC induction motor mark one. So what happens if you 
can I do anything with that? Salvage. Because that's what I've already got, isn't it? ASC induction motor mark one. So salvage that. Yeah. Cool. I still need to look on. I'm not heading even remotely west now. So if you hit trees it just slows you down rather than doing anything else. Okay, well this is going to take a while, so I shall bring you back uh, if and when we find something. See you soon. Okay, so we've gone for a bit of a drive. And we're here on the map. And is that as far as we can sc scroll in? Wow. It's a pretty big map, isn't it? Um, so this is as far as we can scroll in. And there's kind of a river here. Our drone's hovering above us. But... Uh, come on, you were working a second ago. So we can get silicon here. How much silicon have we got? Two and a half thousand. It's a bit of a journey to get here, so I'm going to collect as much as I reasonably can. Just need to wait for this to recharge. So I'm assuming we can upgrade the vehicle, upgrade the mining laser upgrade all that stuff. Got 5,000 silicon. Now let's have a look at the building menu. Where were the miners? There's the miners. Small ore extractor, 2,500 silicon. So... Probably if I can get 10,000 silicon I can set up four extractors. Six and a half thousand. Let's we'll go to here, try a different spot. Then we'll go and see what that abandoned item is, and then we'll head back to base. Alright, here it goes. Yep. Nine thousand. I think one more go with this. So once we've got mining going, we should get um, a decent amount of different resources, I assume. Yeah, that's 10,850. So let's put the mining laser away. Go and see what this. Oh. Now the vehicles can go, f I think, fully submerged in water. Basic scouting drone. Drone has an inventory as well. Scanner, turbine, generator, and light. Cool. Let's 
will follow me. And yeah, you can be 35 meters. So now we'll need to head more or less east, I reckon, to get back to our colony. Oh, yeah, east and a little bit south. Well, we're struggling with that. What I wouldn't give for a flying vehicle. Okay. I don't want to head too far south in case we head to hit that radiation zone again. Let's uh, head north a bit and then east. I mean, the journey here was practically flat, so I'm not quite sure how I'm hitting all this uh, hilly stuff. And I'm not sure what happens if you turn your guy. Oh! That'll be a rock. You know, we only seem to be getting followed by one drone. So I guess if I find another one, I'll just dissolve them. Unless there's one in my inventory. No. So I think that's showing us the way back to our faction, that little arrow at the top there. Yeah. Unnamed outpost, 1.57 kilometers. So I think we've got access to all the basic resources now, so we ought to be able to get going. I'm sure this is a lot easier in daylight. It's a shame the drone can't anticipate the direction you're going to be going in, and actually go ahead of you to light it up. How far are we now? I don't know, we've covered half a kilometre, so we're a third of the way there. Crunch. Yeah, hitting the trees just slows you down, it doesn't... I'm not sure it's causing any damage. So I have the feeling this is the the boring grindy bit of the game. So you know of um, Empyreon or something like that. You spend ages drilling out ore deposits. Just I'm loath to stop recording when I'm so new to the game because something really exciting might happen. So we're back at the colony. So, mine, mining things should not be put too close together. What resources have I got? Um, hard metal, 
I need more aluminium in my inventory. So take um let's take the lot. Right. There's a large aluminium, a huge copper. So let's see if we can put a mining thing down on a huge copper. Well, oop. Whoa, whoa, let's not fall over. He doesn't want to stop when he gets up to full speed. Right. Building. Small ore extractor. Extracts solid resources from the environment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Now, do these things need to be powered in order to work? You would think they would, wouldn't you? Let's look at power. Able to generate power from sunlight requires unobstructed view of the sky. Power output varies with the angle of the sun and is drastically reduced by environmental pollution. Okay. So wind turbine. Wind turbines get rotated by the wind generating a relatively consistent amount of power power output varies with the wind and the installation through an attitude, the higher the better. Oh, I need iron for that though. Small combustion chamber. Okay, we need a geothermal source for that. Right, so let's see if we can... Oh, they're quite big, aren't they? Oh, that's the area it's going to cover. Okay. Right. So we... We really want it facing north. Can we build another one? Alright, get rid of that menu. There's smoke coming out of that thing now. Aha! It is producing stuff. Now, does it need storage nearby? I don't know. Four thousand hard metal. How much hard metal have I got left? I can build. Okay, okay. Ah, so is that the range that it's? Store contains 89. 
Oh no, we don't want them all storing gravel. Uh, resource copper. So why is that still saying gravel? Right. Uh, no. Come on, right click. Copper. That's gravel. So that contains no contain gravel. I don't want it to contain gravel, I want it to contain copper. Right, what's this one containing? So auto discard. Let's take that. Make that copper. Right. Why are you saying you're gravel when I put you on copper? I don't understand. That contains no gravel. Yeah. So what does this one contain? That contains no gravel. So let's change that to what else do you get? Aluminium. Let's change you to aluminium. So you should now say aluminium. Your colour. Reef it. Contains 192 of what? So I've got 401 what? <laughs> well, this is getting a bit confusing. So this one is gravel. Let's leave that on gravel. No, 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 no. So let's let's get rid of that menu. So that's on aluminium. That is on copper. And that hmm. Contains ninety six point three of what? Let's take it. Aluminium. Ah, so that is storing aluminium, okay. Ah now it says aluminium. Ah now it says colour. Ah Right. I don't know what I did to change that, but <laughs> there you go. Now then let's maybe I just got out of the build menu. I need more hard metal, okay. Uh, split fifty per cent, convert the hard metal. All right. Okay. And then what was the other thing you were picking up? Silicon. So let's change you to silicon. Awesome. No, silicon. No. 
Refus. Ah, so once you've done the changes, do you have to click on refit to get it to work? That's what I was doing differently, wasn't it? Let's keep you on gravel. So you've not got any gravel. You've got 34.8 aluminium. You've got 181 copper. You got 221 silicon. Uh. Well, I seem to have a mine up and running. As much by good luck as good management. But there you go. So, I think with that minor success, we shall leave the episode there. And I may go and watch a few more episodes of this that, that other people have done to see um, see how you do this sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, silicon, aluminium, copper, gravel. Marvelous. Okay. We'll leave that there. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.